Now, there are several factors um, for driving successful security transformation. And let's take a look at what those factors are. Affecting or bringing about a security transformation is not an easy task, and you need the right environment, you need the right variables, um, and the right strategy in place so that the security transformation is facilitated. Otherwise, the security transformation project will not succeed, and that just defeats the purpose. So you need board-level buy-in and sponsorship. It needs to come right from the top of the organization because the board is spending the resources and the money, uh, possibly for hiring a very good consulting company or uh, investing the time, energy, and effort that IT and security will spend on the security transformation itself. Um, the regular board or executive management project reviews and decisions. So they need interaction and intervention, uh, managing the entire project. And usually this is a one-year project. The, um, you know, it's, it's a fixed start and stop, and you need to do the security transformation in that one year. And the board needs to be engaged in that entire one year. On a periodic basis, they need to evaluate what the performance is. Allocation of sufficient uh, priority and resources. So IT is always very busy. The business is always very busy. Everybody is actually doing a lot of work, uh, a lot of projects, but security has to be prioritized. And if you don't do that, then the, the foundation will never be set. Um, and then, you know, you continue to have a poor security posture. And then, uh, you know, we've been talking about what the impact of a, security, a poor security posture is. So projects either fail or succeed before they actually begin. You have to structure them properly so that they will succeed rather than fail. And uh, this is uh, now the first uh, diagram that I'm showing you. Um, the Information Security Management Committee is shown in blue in the center. And this is the team which has to be set up as part of the information security uh, transformation project, which drives the entire transformation. And it consists of the infosec head or the information security head in the organization, the network manager, the manager IT infrastructure, and maybe the manager IT infrastructure looking after, let's say, the Linux Oracle and uh, the databases. Uh, so you have two types of infrastructure managers here. And they all come together in a very close-knit team and work together in a team called the Information Security Management Committee, which does the day-to-day -day operations for the transformation. And what we're trying to do here, different from the contention that we talked about earlier in the course, you need to have cooperation among these people. You need to have cooperation among departments. And for that, you need to set the KPIs and align the appraisals of these people. So for one year, these people and their teams, 10 or 10 to 12 core people in the organization, their salaries, bonuses, increments, promotions should all be aligned, let's say, 40% with this project. In the security program, these are different entities or stakeholders. There's the ISMC, there's the IT steering committee, there's the board and executive and IT teams, which the program interacts with. This is another view of the security transformation layers, the sequence and the importance of the layers. It doesn't mean that we have to exactly, very, very strictly have to follow these layers. You can deviate a little bit, but the major emphasis and quantum of effort and energy, which is limited, should be directed in this sequence. Uh, security hardening, vulnerability management, security engineering, and security governance. And then this is another view showing that we must establish accountability, visibility, and participation in the organization at different layers. The IT InfoSec teams meet daily. The ISMC, the Information Security Management Committee, will meet weekly. Information Security Steering Committee will meet monthly, and the board needs to take stock on a quarterly basis of the project. So how do you proceed with the security transformation project? There's so much work to do. How do you break down the work? You establish tracks. You establish a minimum security baseline. You establish pilots for testing. You implement across IT eventually, and then there's continuous improvement. And I'll talk about this slide more um, further down in the course but uh, you actually have to structure and organize the whole program. And then uh, another view of the reporting structure, which is very important. There's um, a quarterly status update going to the board, the monthly status update going to IT steering committee, weekly status update is shared by ISMC among themselves uh, to track the progress. Now, successful security projects and successful security transformation projects especially can be made successful with correct sponsorship, correct structure, strategy, and strong project management. Thank you.